Hey, this is OXDF, and today we're looking at Joomla and how to pivot from access to the admin panel as super admin into remote code execution on the target machine. Um, the most common way to do this is probably just to edit one of the template files, add in some PHP, get yourself a web shell, skew commands. Um, but it's not going to be uncommon that you find the web directories are not writable or the template files are not writable. Um, in fact, that's a relatively secure thing to do. Those things don't need to change that often. You probably want to have an admin involved anyway. Um, set them as non-writable by the, at least by the user who is running your web server. And then you can't edit it. You know, a hacker can't edit it if they crack into your admin panel. Um, but what's the next thing we can do? Well, we can create a malicious plugin. And that's what we're going to look at today is creating a malicious plugin. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look. Um, I've got the Joomla documentation here for, in this case, it's J4O, 4X. Um, I'm working off of a 4.0, 4 point something target. Um, and uh, this is how to create a plugin for Joomla 4. Uh, if we scroll down here, the first thing we do is create an installation file. Um, and so they give us an example installation file for the category search plugin. I'm going to go ahead and just grab this here. And we will jump over into a terminal here. And we can write, um, we call it like evil.xml. Uh, we will set paste. And we'll paste this in and go up to the top. Um, so our extension type is a plugin. The group is search. Um, I don't need to change this, but I do need to note it. It's going to be important to know later. Um, I need a name here so I can, uh, let's see, D, oops, uh, DT like that, oops, DT like that. Oh, I'm just struggling with them today. We'll just delete all that. What are we going to call this? We'll call this like uh, evil XDF. Uh, the author is, I guess it's me. Uh, the date, we are definitely not in November 2025. We are in April 2024. Um, copyright 2024 that and that license is fine we will do uh let's see if that works um we can always always throw a plug for my website in here I O version's fine um a description let's see uh like that and we can say um get execution again it's not the matter um I'm going to skip over this files is important. We'll come back to that. I'm going to go ahead and just delete out. We don't need these languages and stuff. Um, that is, if we wanted to do more complicated interactions, we certainly could use that stuff, but we don't need it for what we're going to do today. Um, two important things to mess with here. First of all, the plugin name is going to be right here. So whatever we put here, um, we're going to need to know to make later. Um, it, this name doesn't actually matter, it seems like. So uh, just I'll make them different just to see. So we can say like, this is evil uh, web shell. We'll call it web shell. And then here we'll call this like uh, evil.php. And so now we have um, our file. And I will, in fact, leave this up here. So we have the information available. Um, jumping back to the documentation, the next thing we do is create the plugin. And they're actually going to create, in this case, we just said our plugin is going to be in evil.php. Um, we can see in their example, this will be categories.php because they described uh, here is categories.php. So um, they have a much more complicated PHP than we're going to use. Um, but it's interesting. I want to just go over the beginning. So we open up with some PHP. Um, the first thing it does is this defi it defined jexec or die. Basically, what that's saying is, is there a variable named jexec that is defined? And if not, done. Don't, don't run this anymore. And what that does is it stops direct access to the plugin files, because what you don't want is people coming directly to the plugin files. You want the plugin integrated into the system, called through the system as the system needs to. Um, and the files that will call it will set the jexec variable so that you don't have to, um, so that this gets passed. Uh, so, but then it does a bunch of stuff. We have create a class here, extending the CS, CMS plugin, uh, implementing the subscriber interface. We define a bunch of functions. Um, we're going to skip all that. That's None of this is necessary. So for us, we need our uh, evil.php. Uh, we are going to open with PHP. Uh, we are going to run system on requests. And we'll call it like command. Seems good. And we will die. Like that. Um, we don't, we want to do exactly the opposite. The thing they're trying to prevent, we want to allow the direct access. So we're just going to allow it like this. Uh, we will exit out of here. We will zip into uh, package.zip. Uh, evil star like that, and now we've got our zip. Uh, over here, we can go to system extensions, browse Joomla, open up our package here, and it has installed. Uh, if we go to manage extensions, 
we can see if we have filter here that's evil, um, you can see it actually already finds it for us. So if we do evil, uh, there's our thing, it's there, it's in the search folder. Now all we need to do is do uh, dev dot dev vortex uh, plugins and whoops, let's see. So now we got plugins. The next thing is the group. So that's the search we already talked about. Um, then it's the name itself. And this is where it's good to know. This is the name that's right here. So in this case, it's web show. And then uh, after that's gonna be the file itself. So that'll be evil.php and we will add our CMD equals ID. And boom, we've got a web shell. We can see we're running as www data. Uh, that's execution. We can, you know, ls slash and there it is. So um, that's it. That, that's going to be the, that's going to be the video. I just wanted to show how we can take the Joomla, Joomla documentation and work out exactly what we need to get a web shell out of it. So um, I'll have, if you are interested in the complete dev vortex solve um, at the hacker box machine, uh, I'll make sure I have a link to my blog post down in the description here. Thanks for hanging out with me till the end and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Thank you.